Hi guys, I'm back again with this simple customization on Windows operating system. Here, we have this Unix tab menu, taskbar with curved edges, translucent file explorer, and custom cursor. Now I'm going to show you how to get this done in a matter of minutes. Welcome to this channel, let's get straight to it. First of all, we're going to make some changes on this taskbar. We're going to tidy it up a little bit, we're going to right click here and go on to taskbar settings. And right here, we're going to disable some of these unwanted widgets. I'm going to disable this one and any other one like this virtual touchpad already disabled that. I'll we'll proceed to search here. We're going to expand this. I'm going to change this to search icon only. Click on that. Now proceed to X on this. To begin this, we're going to head onto the browser. All the links I'll be using in this video will be given in the description. The first one right here is the windoc.net. Now straight up to download this, head on to this download icon and click on that. Now we'll move to the second one right here. Here we have the codes and the wallpaper we'll be using in this video. Proceed to this download icon and click on that. Now we'll continue on to the destination folder. The first thing we're going to do right now is to install Windoc. Proceed here and double click on this setup file. Select OK. Standard installation, next. Select next. Install it. Now it's done, we're going to select finish. After installing Windoc, we'll be greeted with this interface. Proceed to explore. Go to taskbar height and icon size. Select details. Select install. Just ignore this and proceed to install it. Wait for it. After installation is complete, go on to settings. Right here on the icon size, we're going to change this from 32 to 25. And down here, we're going to change from 52 to 45. I'm going to leave this one as it is and click on save settings. Now, if you notice, there's a slight change on this taskbar. We're going to continue to the next one. We'll go back to explore. And this time, we're going to select taskbar clock customization. Go on to details. Select install. Proceed to install it. Wait for it. Once that's done, we'll go on to advanced. Right here under mode settings, we're going to highlight on everything here and delete the content. So I'm just going to minimize this and we'll go back to the downloads. Here we have this zip file which we downloaded earlier. I'm just going to extract this, highlight on it, right click on it and extract. I'm using Winra here, extract. Now if we open this folder, and yes, the wallpaper I'm going to be using. So just highlight on this wallpaper, right click on it and set as desktop background. And now you can see the wallpaper has changed and it's looking much better. We we'll go to the clock codes, open the clock codes and we have this code right here. Highlight on everything here and copy. Copy the entire content. I'm just going to minimize this, minimize that, go back to Windock and I'm going to paste the code right here click on save. Now as we can see on the bottom right here we have this clock here which includes the date and the day. Obviously we're not done yet. We're going to the next one. Head on back to explore. This time we're going for the Windows 11 start menu styler. Go on to details. Click to install. Proceed to install it. Wait for it. After the installation go on to advanced. On that mode settings we're going to delete everything here minimize this we'll go back to the folder and this time I'm going to select start menu codes copy everything here copy minimize minimize and we'll go back to Windock paste the content right here and save so if you minimize this then go on to your start menu now you can see that we have this unique start menu which is looking much better. Now we're going to do something right here. We're going to add some shortcuts. To do that, proceed to your desktop and right click on here. Go on to personalize. You want to scroll down a bit, go on to start, click on that. Scroll down again, select folders. And right here you have options to enable. For the first one, settings, I'm just going to enable this one. File Explorer, enable that. Go on to downloads, enable downloads, music pictures, videos, and personal folder. After doing that, proceed to close this, X on that, and we'll go back to the start menu. Now we have the shortcut right here, which is pretty cool, and we are not done. So we'll proceed to the next one right here, go back to Windock, go on to explore. On the Windows 11 taskbar styler, select details, install it, proceed to install. 
wait for it once that's done again we'll go on to advanced go right here delete the content head on back to the download folder and we go to tax pack codes copy all the content Let me minimize this minimize that go back to windock i'm going to paste right here and save now, as you can see, we have this unique taskbar with curves at the edges. And also, if you notice, we have the circle around these icons on the taskbar. We're done with Windock. I'm just going to X on this. I'm going to close all this right here, close all these windows. Now, we'll go on to the next one right here. Go back to the browser. Now, we're going to download Explorer Blowmaker from github.com. Scroll down here a bit. Under releases, we have this latest. Click on latest. Let's scroll down a bit. Now we're going to download this first one right here, this release x64, click on that to go to the file directory. Here we're going to extract this release x64, highlight on it, right click on it. I'm using WinRAR here, just going to extract it. Now we're going to separate this release folder from all the files. We're going to highlight on it, cut it, go on to your Windows C and paste it right here. Now open the release folder. Go on to register, double click on that. In case you get this kind of notification, select more info and click run anyway. Select OK, X on this. Now if you reopen the file explorer, you can see that we have this unique file explorer with blur effect, which is pretty cool. And now we're going to the next one, we're going to get a unique cursor. I'm going to minimize this, go back to the browser. And now we'll go to this last option right here, which is in deviantart.com. First of all, I'll let you know guys, before you can download anything from here, you have to create an account. It's pretty quick and easy, just create an account and I have already logged in so i'm just going to proceed to this icon and click on that just click on it to download again we're going to head on back to the file location and here is the zip file for the vision cursor just going to extract this one you have vision cursor white or you have vision cursor black and because we're already on a dark mode it is advisable to use a white cursor so i'm just going to go for this white one now go on to the install icon, highlight on it, right click on it and click on install. Select open. And this brings us to this mouse properties. Now it's on none. If you expand this, you have all the options right here. And this is the list of all the cursors that are present on this computer. But the major one we're looking for right now is the vision cursor white. As we can see here, this is the one we just installed. Select vision cursor white, select apply click on yes then select ok all right now as you can see we have this brand new cursor which is looking pretty cool and unique before i have made a video about custom cursors okay you should check that video out i'm going to leave the link right here you can have a look on the top right for the link so that's going to be all for now guys i hope you find value in this video if you do don't forget to subscribe to this channel also leave this video a like and share your thoughts at the comment section have a nice day. Peace out.